Hey, Vsauce, Nick here. What is spin? And I don't mean spin like to spin around in a circle, but to kind of spin on a ball. Like in a sport like ping pong or volleyball, baseball. You commonly hear these terms. Baseball, you'd hear a curveball. Or in volleyball and ping pong, you'd hear top spin, back spin, side spin. These types of spin have a purpose. To put it simply, you hit the ball in a way that makes it spin forward in the direction of travel. This spin will supposedly cause the ball to dip downward. Now the only forces on the ball are gravity, which is acting downward, and air resistance. So why does a spinning ball go to the ground faster than a non-spinning ball? The answer, the Magnus Force. The Magnus Force is named after German physicist Heinrich Gustav Magnus. The overall reason why the Magnus Force works is due to Newton's third law. While the air on the bottom of the ball is the same direction of the movement, the air on the top of the ball is the opposite. This means that relative to the ball, the air on the bottom of the ball is moving faster. The faster air speed on the bottom makes it so that there's more air friction acting on the bottom of the ball. This fluid friction that's acting on the air around it from the ball is causing the air to be dragged upward. Now this dragging upward of the air around the ball is a force. Like any other force, Newton's third law applies to it. So because Newton's third law applies to it, there must be an equal and opposite force. That opposite force is applied downward onto the ball by the air around it. An example of the Magnus force in action is a curveball in baseball where the pitcher will throw the ball so that it rotates this to one side. This rotation will cause the Magnus force to act not down or up, but to a side left or right. Now, if I were standing here and I threw a ball without spin, there'd be no possible way for me to get the ball past this wall and to the right of it, or to your left. But by utilizing side spin, I can actually get the ball to curve around the corner of this wall and end up on the other side. Here's a video displaying the Magnus effect at quite an extreme. So the YouTube channel How Ridiculous took a basketball and dropped it off the side of a dam with backspin. The Magnus force typically acts um, perpendicular to the flight path and the axis of rotation. Another real world application of the Magnus effect in sports is in soccer. When people kick from the corner of the soccer field, they kick and add just the right amount of spin so that the ball will curve right into the goal. You might be wondering, does the Magnus effect have any application outside of sports? The answer is kinda. Some engineers have designed rotor sails which look like large rotating rods on the top of ships. These rotor sails are meant as a way of increasing fuel efficiency on modern ships. They aren't really strong enough to be the sole source of propulsion for these ships, so that's why they're only used to increase fuel efficiency and provide a secondary source of acceleration. According to Wikipedia, a reliable source, rotor sails were first conceptualized and built by German engineer Anton Flettner. In October of 1924, him and several of his colleagues completed construction of a large two-rotor ship named the Macau. Another less explored and less practical uh, application of the Magnus Effect is people have tried to build airplanes which actually utilize this Magnus Effect, but these don't really seem to work too well. <laughs> well, that's pretty much it for this video, so uh, thanks for watching. <laughs> Beautiful!